Welcome back in AZ303 series. Uh, we're talking Azure Storage Account, and today we are going to understand the access tiers. So in Azure Storage Account, I have showed you in the previous video where we find this access tier, and I will show you again. But let's try and understand what it is and how these access tier help us. What is the usage? What is the difference? So uh, in Azure Storage Account, uh, especially GPB2 and Blob Storage. These are the only two which supports access tier. We got three types of access tier, hot, cold, and archive. It's nothing, it's just the place where we keep the data. And as per the access tier, the accessibility and pricing uh, changes. So let's try to understand it in a little deeper. If we talk about hot, uh, it is uh, highest storage cost and lowest access cost. It means uh, all the active data or frequently accessed data we keep in the hot tier of Azure storage account or blob storage. It provides uh, guaranteed uh, availability and performance will show you on the MS doc. Let's check the cold. Cold is medium storage cost and medium access cost. And this is used for storing short term data, approximately 30 days or at least 30 days. We'll let you know why at least. We keep, keep here infrequently access data. Why I'm saying this word frequently and infrequently because you might encounter questions uh, in your certification exam. So do not get confused. And it provides almost same performance, not like archive where we need to wait, wait to get the data rehydrated. So let's check the archive. Our archive is lowest storage cost and highest access cost. So we keep in the archive for the archival purpose where we are not accessing the data. That's why frequently or infrequently, that's why it's highest access cost, but lowest storage cost. And we use this for storing long-term at least one key days. And we will get the latency of several hours because as I was mentioning in the cold, we need to rehydrate the data before we could access it, that's why. And it has lower availability. And we can, uh, there is no option to select hot and cold in the storage account, but we can apply archive on the individual blobs. And make, and, and this, this question I come across uh, quite often, what is the difference between archiving and backup? So archiving is not a backup. Backups are point in time copy of uh, data and archiving is moving data to long term. It's not a copy. Okay. And the common scenarios are financial records for compliance purpose or mailboxes of ex employees. Any data that you want to keep but do not want to access frequently or infrequently, uh, keep it in archive, lowest cost. Okay. And as I mentioned, uh, these options, access tiers are applicable for blob storage and GPV2 account uh, only as of now. No, not for the file and any other storage account option, but maybe in future, let's say. And <clears throat> we can also choose the default level uh, of, of the access tier. Uh, by default, it is hot in all the storage account, but you can change it to cold and all, and it would be inherited to all the blobs. If you change it to the, to the cold or hot, it will be inherited to the uh, blobs. Can't use the archive data like hot and coal, but rehydration is needed. I have mentioned this already, so no need to explain it again. But yes, as I said at the beginning, why at least 30 or 180 days? Because early deletion or moving data out carries a charge, at least a 30 day charge. If you move or delete data within 29 days, you have to pay for 30 days. In 10 days, you still have to pay for the 30 days. That's why at least 30 days. 
So this was a very uh, good information about the XST. And now let's quickly check on the Azure Story account. So this is our storage account. This is the storage that we have created in early videos. And if I go to the configuration, you will see here we have uh, XST here, blob XST here, default, because I have not changed it. So it's hot, means all the uh, blobs which are stored in this uh, story account are hot. If you go and check the overview, it is uh, GPB2. That's why we have this option. And if we have blob storage account, we'll find this option, else we will not find this option in GPV1 or any other storage account that we have covered already. Let's go to the container, check the few blobs. I have uploaded few blobs here, you can see. Hot, 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 because it is inherited. You can select any one of it and you can change the tier from here. Hot to cold, cold to archive. As I told you, we were not have we, we were not having any option like archive on the uh, storage account, but here you can apply this on the individual blob. Okay, so that's uh, that's all about XSTR. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day. Bye bye.